Welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review. Highlights, features, and analysis with head coach Connell Maynard. Brought to you by Protective Life, Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, and University Kia. Hello there, and welcome to the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm your host, Ted Dixie, the guy with the gravelly voice, because we were sitting outside at Bethune-Cookman in Daytona Beach, Florida, doing a broadcast game, Coach. I wish we had better results from it. But again, the Bulldogs come up short at Bethune-Cookman. That's their first victory against the Bulldogs since 1978. Yeah, you know, uh, very disappointing. Um, we want to go down to Bethune and get that W. Um, and we just didn't play very well. You know, we, we gave up 400 yards rushing. Uh, to the number six offense in the league, and um, and we only scored fourteen on the number. I uh, wasn't the number ten offense in the league, number six defense in the league. We only scored fourteen points, so we didn't play very well. We didn't execute. Uh, I didn't coach a very good game, and uh, we went down and got beat. Coach traveling a great distance, as that's eleven hundred miles from where we are now, thirteen hour drive, but it's an hour twenty one minute flight. Even though we left late Friday. How does that affect when you get off schedule on Friday night? How does that affect Saturday's game? I, I don't know. You know, I, I I don't like to make excuses. You know, um, it's called adversity. It's called life. Uh, you know, when you plan on being so one time and you're getting a, it's a big old wreck and you get delayed three hours, that's life. It's part of it. And so, um, you know, winners and fathers find a way. And uh, we're supposed to find a way to win the game, even though we had a lot of adversity. And... Uh, we didn't do it, and so um, we we didn't do it. We're not going to make an excuse. You get a first-year head coach at Bethune-Cookman. He's going through some of the growing pains, I guess, a first-year coach has. But I can ask you this, Coach. What did you like about what he's trying to do in his, with his football team? Oh, well, he's just trying to get those guys to buy in. Uh, he's running his system. They do what they do. Get those guys to uh, really trust and believe in what they're doing is working and uh, – you know, they never quit. Uh, you know, I try to tell our guys when we was up 14-7, you know, we got to get another score. We got to put these guys away. If you let them hang around, they're going to think they can beat you, and they're going to get the momentum, and, and sure enough, that's what happened. So uh, we got to learn how to finish people off. We got to kill an ant with a hand grenade. Uh, we got to have that champion's mentality of putting people away when we get them down, and uh, we, we didn't have that yesterday. Of course, Coach, in the ball game, leading at halftime, doing some good things on offense, but we saw more turnovers than we've seen all season in one game. Yeah, I, I don't think we turned it over. We just had a lot of opportunities where they could have had some interceptions. They could have had four or five interceptions. They just dropped them all. But then our defense went out and turned the ball over and gave us a couple of short fields and, uh, you know, we'd get a false start or didn't do anything with it. And uh, that's just uncared the rest of us. Uh, we wasn't ready to play. Didn't play very well. And uh, that's what happened. You get beat. We were about to go up to 21, Coach, and we had a fumble while going in. It's happened to us before this season. That can be kind of devastating, but then you bounce back from that because we were still around in the game. It didn't get – the avalanche did not happen until halfway, 10 minutes left to go in the ball game. Yeah, but that still was a big play in the football game, huge play because um, we got the ball coming out second half, and uh, we were driving, and Quincy is running the ball down the field, and um, – he high steps and try to run the safety over and fumbles and they get it and change the momentum. You know, and if we get a score right there and go up 21 to seven, uh, we'll be in good shape. It'd be tough for them to come back and win a football game. Uh, but it didn't happen. You know, he fumbled the ball and uh, instead of sliding down or cutting back, uh, he tried to run the guy over and fumble. So uh, that's, how the, that's, how the, that's how the cookie crumble. And speaking of crumbling cookies, coach, Thursday night, Final game of the season. Mississippi Valley State comes to town. 6 o'clock p.m. start this Thursday, Coach. I'm thinking about my high school class reunion. Big shout-out to Gerald Johnson High School. I'm thinking about a class reunion that Saturday, Coach. But some of us are talking about coming to the ball game. It will be worth watching. Mississippi Valley State has beaten us here at Lewis Cruz Stadium the final game of the season before. Yeah, and they beat us the final game of the season last year at Bay Stadium. So, uh, you know, we got to get ready to play. Um you know, we can't be leaking our wounds. Uh, it's one game. Our goal is to win, go 1-0 this week. And it's a short week. 
So we got to get right back out there and get at it and uh, get ready to go. Uh, Valley going to come in here trying to get another victory. They beat us last year. Um, and they see that uh, we're not playing very well right now. So we got to get that changed around for this week and uh, get ready to go for Thursday night. We look for everybody to come out. We'll be ready to play. We have a short list of first half highlights for you, but please enjoy them. We come back on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach, Connell Maynard. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. A church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis, the worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. In golf, if you make a mistake, there is a mulligan. Well, in God, if you make a mistake, there is mercy. Aren't you glad God has mercy for your mistakes? Hello, I am P.T., Pastor Troy. I want to invite you to come and worship with us at the Fellowship of Faith, where Jesus is exalted and the Word is explained. We love Alabama a &M. Go Bulldogs! Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station, Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University, start here, go anywhere. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs!
Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Codell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixie. It's a blackout game. Thursday night here at Lewis Cruz Stadium. Thursday night here at Lewis Cruz Stadium. Blackout game, coach. I was hoping for a gray out game. Thank you for my new fit. I appreciate it. See how we get down here on the hill? We'll have 16 different uniform combinations soon. That's what Dr. Brian said. I always call him Coach Brian because he coaches the coaches. Thursday night game, Coach, what are you looking for your student athletes to do? Because really this portends what their situation will be like in the spring. Well, yeah, you know, we, we want to continue to try to get better. We want to go one on this week. Um, and, and that's the goal for those guys to get better as individuals. We get better as a football team. But we want to win our next football game. And uh, we want to end the season on a winning note uh, and then get ready for the spring and get, get ready for recruiting and get ready for next season. So it's very important for us to uh, play well, play hard, and get this get this W. And we want to uh, uh, protect our home. You know, we're, we're three and one at home, but we want to make it four and one at home this year. And always when we play in Lewis Cruz Stadium, uh, we want to come out with a W. Folks, I'm going to congratulate the Bulldog faithful this season. We've drawn over 60,000, Coach, at home. That's big, folks, and we'd like to have it like that, a full stadium every time that we play. And you give them something to look for, Coach, because you have some student athletes that are stellar this season. And even when we might not win the ball game, we'll still see some fine performances by our student athletes. Oh, yeah, those guys going to play hard. We've got some great athletes out there that's flying around. It's good football in, in the SWAC. And uh, Mississippi Valley record is not what they want to be. Ours not what it's going to be. But we got some good football players. And you're going to see some good, solid football uh, being played out there. And uh, uh, the good news is somebody got to win the game. Yeah, that's the good news. We don't kiss our sister in the Southwestern Athletic Conference, as they say. One student athlete that's had a fine performance this year is number six, Amari Pate, the sophomore coach, is up for the Aeneas Williams Award, the inaugural Aeneas Williams Award, named after a former Southwest Athletic Conference student athlete and coach. It hadn't been different, Coach, and we've had NFL Hall of Famers that come coach football in the swag. But one thing you do learn in the swag, Coach, is humility goes a long way. Right. Yeah, Amari Pate is a good football player. He's just a sophomore, so we got him for two more years. We look forward to him to continue in, uh, his great play and maybe to be uh, all-conference and all-American. Uh, we had him before, and so he's probably going to be uh, our next one. He had a, he had a, a pretty good game last last week, uh, well, yesterday. Uh, he was right up there in tackles. He did miss one tackle, but that's part of it. You know, you're going to miss some tackles, but he's going to make them nine times out of ten. That's why he's up for the watch award, and that's why he's going to wind up being all-American and be the next great football player from the defensive side of the ball. You just said something, Coach, that's, that's serious. It's about how you get back up. Even though you make a mistake or make a bad play, have a bad game, it's how you get back up for the next one. Yeah, you know, it, you can't live off one play. If it's an interception, a missed tackle, uh, a fumble, uh, you got to play on. You got to play the next play, the next series, the next quarter, the next half. Same thing if you throw a touchdown or you get a sack. You can't live off that. You got to continue to play. You got to play again the next series. Throw another touchdown, you know. So – uh, you can't live off one play. You can't let one play uh, mess you up for the next three plays or the next two or three series. You got to put it behind you and keep playing good or bad. And you'll get another opportunity to do that Thursday night, Mississippi Valley State, the Delta Devils. If you don't know, that's the school Jerry Rice went to. They like to remind us all the time. And also one of our members of our coaching staff, Willie Totten, also went to Valley. It's Rice Totten Stadium, but whatever we played there was Totten Rice. One time we played there, Titan would have been the only student athlete to ever play in a stadium and coach in a stadium named after him. Right, right. And, uh, right, right. But we, we want everybody to come out, support these guys. You know, we're at the end of senior day, but this is really senior day because they last football, last home football game. And, uh, those guys been here, some of them one or two years, some on three, four, some on five, some on six because of COVID. But uh, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears uh, that they poured back into this program. So let's everybody come out and support these guys, send these guys out the right way. Um, no, we're not having a season that we want to have. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes your keys don't turn out the way you want them to be. So it is what it is. We love them. Let's show them that we love them. Let's come out and support them Thursday night. Uh, all of Huntsville, all of Huntsville, I'm challenging you to come out this Thursday night. What other football team do we have around here? We should have all of Huntsville out Thursday night watching and supporting A&M play Mississippi Valley this Thursday night. Huntsville, where you at? I'm looking for you Thursday night.
And we'll talk more about that when we come back with the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. Daryl brings new energy to the power plant. Julian's accounting is by the numbers. They're student interns from the College of Business and Public Affairs at Alabama A&M University, where marketing class connects with the community and companies come to recruit. So while Kyle strengthens his managerial skills, he's earning a business degree and experience at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Parker is 29 and learning to communicate again. The students teaching him earn a degree with 100% job placement, but the real reward is changing a life. At Alabama A&M, it's a university where agencies actually go to recruit compassionate students who help themselves by helping others. Service is sovereignty at Alabama A&M University. Start here, go anywhere. Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs, or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere.
again, folks. Thank you for watching the Alabama A&M Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. I'm Ted Dixon, your host, graduate of 1983 Johnson High School, 43 Union coming. I got tied up, coach. I thought it was the 30th. Say no more. The end of the season, coach, your last game. What do you want to see besides your student athletes winning the ball game? I just want to see us play um, all three phases. One complete game, um, special teams, offense, defense, and uh, – I want the guys to fly around and have some fun and win the football game, uh, the last game of the season. I guess the four and one at home. Uh, but just do your assignment for one play, one play at a time, for one drive at a time, for one quarter, for one half, for one game. And uh, let's play well, have some fun, and uh, get this W. It used to be, Coach, that the last game of the season, you would try to see what you might have next season to work with. Nowadays, with the transfer portal, we don't know what our team seriously would look like from year to year because there's so many student athletes available. The recruiting has gotten more intense. I mean, your coaches are recruiting, breaking down film, coaching people. It's been almost a 24-hour day job. Yeah, it is, and uh, we'll still we'll still play some other guys, some young guys that haven't played as much, um, and uh, see what those guys can do, get a look for them. Uh, I mean, because spring ball is spring ball. But it's nothing like a, a live game, a real game uh, with referees and the crowd and the band and a different team. Uh, so uh, we'll play a couple guys uh, that we want to take a look at and, and see how they do uh, up under the lights. And, of course, Coach just mentioned the band, the Marching Maroon and White. Who is the featured band in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade? That's right. This Thanksgiving, it's not over. We want to thank them and all the folks that contributed to get them to the money that they needed to go to this adventure. And I said adventure because it's New York City, baby. There's nowhere else in the world you'd rather be on Thanksgiving Day than watching the Macy's Parade. And if you're at home watching it, please tune in, set your DVRs, take photographs of the screen, post that hashtag, Marching Maroon and White Macy's. Coach, you're going to have the benefit of them being able to party of the last game of the season. That's what the band does. Of course, the cheerleaders went with us on this trip. What trip are you talking about, Ted? We fly when we go to long trips now, folks. That's something you think about, and that's something that you tell recruit. Of course, it's always a recruiting too. You know, uh, we flew three games this year, and um, I was mad riding the bus in Mobile. But, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know, we played in Mobile, we played in Birmingham. That's two games on the road that you know, of course, we can't fly. But um, you know, if we got any any kind of distance, seven, eight hours, we're gonna probably get in that bird, and get on down there, and get back. Man, that's just part of being a D one program. Uh, that's why you come to come to A and M to play. Uh, cause we're going to do things first class. And of course, part of being first class coaches, our student athletes graduating, some we're very proud of and just see what they do. Some of them made plays this year that now they get Colson number one. We talked about him or Gardner. You get to make a play. You get to show on the way out the door that you get some film so you can show people because now your film lives on forever. You can always go on the internet and tell somebody, look how I used to ball. Yeah, yeah, that's part of it. Now. I mean, you know, when I play – you know, you, it's hard to find film. Yeah, yeah. You got to go back and get a, a tape that the tape is messed up. So, uh, but nowadays, you know, you just go back and only put all the replays on and uh, social media has, has done these guys a great uh, justice that they can just go pull up their film and send it to whoever they want to at any time. But also we can pull it up and, and look at guys and really be able to evaluate what, what the student athletes are doing on and off the football field. Of course, Coach, on this plane ride, our president, Dr. Daniel K. Williams, was on the trip. Several of our administrators have been on the trip. The bird holds about 189. I had to look it up before we left. I'm that guy. But, of course, Coach, once again, we're a family here. We try to maintain that, and you'll get an opportunity to do that again on Thursday night. Yeah, it was uh, great uh, having the president on. Of course, AD, president of some of his cabinet, and then AD and, and some of his um, uh, uh, workers was there, too. So. Uh, it was great for those guys to come and support us. Uh, you know, disappointed that we didn't get the W, uh, but at the end of the day, uh, we still all one family, and they was just supporting us, uh, even when we're having the best of years, and that means a lot to the players and to me. HBCU game experience is all about family, fun, and football. Of course, the game day experience has morphed during the season, but you will enjoy yourself on Thursday night at 6 o'clock p.m. right here at the Lewis Cruz Physical Education Camp physical education complex on the beautiful campus of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. For Coach Maynard, I'm Ted Dix, your host. We'll see you back next week on the Alabama a and Football Review with head coach Connell Maynard. 
Bulldog fans, thank you for joining us today for the Alabama A&M University Football Review. Bulldog faithful, we encourage your support and participation. Until next time, go Bulldog! Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Hello, I'm Pastor Troy. The game of football is a lot like the game of life. You have to tackle your problems and block your fears. I just want you to know there is victory in Jesus. I want to invite you to worship with us at one of our anointed services at our Huntsville campus or our Madison campus. At the Fellowship of Faith, Jesus is exalted and the word is explained. We love Alabama A&M. Go Bulldogs! <laughs> Don't get hit hard by low trade offers. Get up to $5,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade at University Kia. Check out our large selection of new Kias. University Kia proudly supports Alabama A&M University football. Go Bulldogs! Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth. Our studies in cybersecurity and rocket propulsion have tech companies like Google and SpaceX recruiting at Alabama A&M University with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere. Companies hunger for our food scientists. Here, a new generation manages our cities of tomorrow. The discovery of hardier plants, healthier animals, is growing at our research station. Alabama A&M University, where new designs and ideas are put to the test. Be a researcher in our labs or a forestry fire dog in our fields. Alabama A&M University, start here, go anywhere. Union Chapel Missionary Baptist Church, a church with a big heart of love. Located at 315 Winchester Road in Huntsville, Alabama. Under the leadership of Dr. O. Wendell Davis. The worship services begin at 7.45 a.m. and 10.45 a.m. every Sunday. Now, we pray that you are blessed by our worship experience. Engineering and science usually look like this, but our students build race cars from the ground up, explore wind tunnels, particle accelerators, and crystal growth with one of the highest percentages of women STEM graduates in the country. Alabama A&M University. Start here. Go anywhere.